What's up, everybody? So, it's your man Josh again. We're back over at JJ's Motorsports, aka my mom's house. <laughs> we in the shop, aka my garage. Uh, but what we're going to be doing today, we're on part four of the BMW Drift Build series. Um, if you're new to the, the channel or new to you know this series, what we're doing is my uncle, uh, one of my uncles bought a uh, 93 325i uh, BMW with an M50 engine in it. He wanted to do the uh, swap to his uh, Triumph TR6. And the car sat in my backyard for 10 years. He didn't do nothing with it. It sat there. Uh, in the meantime, I went and bought a 300ZX. Got this beautiful Nissan right here. Uh, shout out to the boys over at Booty Hustlers on the shirt. But I bought this 300ZX when I was in college. It's around the same time. My uncle bought the BMW. Actually, he's had the BMW longer than I've had this car. And I had this car about six years. So anyway, long story short, because I'm just rambling on. Um, I bought the the, the Nissan. I uh, bought the, the, the Z. Uh, a couple years later, I bought a Skyline. Uh, got the Tundra. And this man still had this car sitting in my backyard. And the more I got into the automotive community, the more I got into the automotive world, I wanted to, you know, start learning how to drift, you know, this car, I've been doing some work with it and I think it's going to be, I'm going to do uh, like some weekend time attack and some Canyon driving, uh, the skyline, I'm going to go full blown, you know, race car with it. Um, let me adjust the camera here. Give me one second. I got a RB 25 Neo sitting back there out of an R 34 GTT. Um, so I got full engine transmission, set up ready to go i may do some cams with that later uh, build the top end of it, upgrade the turbo you know do 85 i'm gonna swap that into the 32 that i got sitting in the backyard and uh that uh i'm gonna probably cage it too as well that'll be a whole nother build series once this channel starts blowing up and i can afford it um but i got some big ideas so i need you guys to support and help to help me with these big ideas so but uh let's dive into this bmw um last video we still couldn't get it to start no matter what we did we put fuel in it um did even some fuel injector cleaner can't get it start um uh, thinking bad fuel pump we're getting spark we did the starter fluid you saw in video one and two we we're able to get it to run and idle a little bit but it's just burning up the fuel in the fuel lines and that's it and then we're not getting anything out of the pump uh, out of the tank so uh what we're gonna do today is we're gonna pull the old pump out put a new one in and go from there and see if it uh, fires up now this isn't really a, a real unboxing because uh, I already opened it. But we uh, placed an order on Rock Auto. Uh, I'm going show you guys my, my address. But I uh, placed an order on Rock Auto, and we got ourselves a Delphi fuel pump. Now, most applications, Delphi is OEM, um, or OEM Plus is the application we call it. So um, if you guys are familiar with OEM parts, in the OEM world, if you guys don't know, I work at a Honda dealership. Before that, I worked at Toyota. Um, in between Toyota and Honda, I worked over at Firestone. And Firestone uses a whole lot of aftermarket parts because they don't manufacture parts. Uh, but when you're at the dealership, the dealership says, oh, you got to use the factory parts. Well, joke's on you guys. Well, not really, but, you know, they, they tell the consumer it's OEM parts. And in reality, um, it's not OEM parts. A lot of these OEM parts are made by companies like Delphi and Denso and Bosch, um, who are aftermarket companies, but they manufacture a whole lot of OEM parts for BMW. So you see BMW uses a lot of Bosch parts. Oh, wait a minute. You just bought it from the BMW parts department and they charge your arm and leg when you could have just went to Bosch directly and saved 60, 70 bucks. So got us a delphi fuel pump looks great comes in the plastic comes with all the plastic wrappings yeah 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 little stop sign you know all this and that here yeah, before you do xyz yeah blah 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 here's the fuel pump so we're gonna put it in get it fired up and we'll go from there let me make sure i don't break anything because this was uh, 200 dollars. but yeah so let's do it let's throw this bad boy in the car all right, so now we're outside. We got all the doors open. Got the seat out. It just uh, happened to be a perfect day. My mom's off. How's it 
assistant. Yeah, thanks, assistant. My uncle happened to be here helping my mom out uh, with one of her cars, so uh, we got a two for one today. So me and my uncle going to knock this uh, fuel pump out real quick, and uh, we didn't realize, well, I didn't realize that this car comes with two fuel pumps, so I got to figure out which one's the primary and uh, go from there. But uh, we'll figure it out. If not, I got to just buy another one. All right, let's uh, jump into this thing. Which one is what? Bring a screwdriver. We'll get a screwdriver real quick. Or oh, you got an extra one over there? Not an extra Phillips. Oh, I only quick. got one Phillips. Okay. Saving it for later. I left uh, my big flathead on the Ranger. I was gonna need it eventually. Mm -hmm. She moved it. Yeah, I was talking about taking the uh, the ring off. Oh yeah. I don't have the little tool for that. Yeah, they do have. One. Gauge right. and the pump. Seating? Uh-huh. You can if you want to. Um, I'm gonna go to Harbor Freight and get us a, another pop-up. Oh, okay. Because there's a Harbor Freight down the street from the house. Okay. You think that was the primary? I think so. Um you got the other pump already? Uh yeah, it's on the um It's on that table next to the grill. Oh, oh okay, in the box right there. Yeah. Let's look, take a look. Some. I think that's it, cause this this one looks like looks like it. Mm-hmm. Cause I got it from Rock Auto, so. Uh, yeah. I think that's the main yeah. pump. Uh, this one got the. Oh, this one got the double plug. Okay. So this is probably the primary. Do you gotta empty the gas tank? No. Oh, there you go. That sits on top? Yeah. So, I'm gonna... Uh, how much gas was in there before you put that good gas in there? Uh, it, the gauge was reading a half a tank. Oh, it was quite a bit. Huh? Yeah. And then I put, you know, a couple of gallons worth. So, yeah. make, we just gonna make a mess. Well... Let me put this one back together. No.
see what we got here. Oh yeah, man, you do got a feel. <laughs> well, um, I was a little overzealous. I just said, let's put some gas in. Yeah. And uh, that didn't work. Yeah, cause this thing, you know. Filter is all tearing all up. Filter is gone. Oh yeah, that's uh, that. that's pretty bad. I mean, it, it, it sat it that one up all the way. Well, when did Uncle Billy, Uncle Billy, buy this car? Almost ten years ago. Yeah, something like that. Oh yeah. That was it's yeah, that gas just tore that up, so it, it probably got this pump froze. Well, we'll uh, throw the new one in there and we we'll hope and pray it runs. I think we're it will. We're going to find out. Uh-huh. All right. Uh, let's go back in here. Let's see here. We didn't do, do too bad at uh, making a mess. Right, yeah, yeah. This one was uh, relatively straightforward. The guys at work always, I get the customer's car back and I gotta tell them, oh, it's gonna smell like gas, but you know, mm -hmm. it'll be like that for a few days and then you'll be all right. Yeah, let me uh, put this ring back on there. Hold that one over there out the way. Yeah, that tool would have been. Ain't that bad. Yeah, one, I was doing. One all too tight. Yeah, I was doing our cousin. You never did meet our cousin Norman. Mm -hmm. You know, and you was coming along. He he was on vacation a lot. Oh, okay. You know. On you vacation. Know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I was doing his uh, forward, and it had this lock ring on, mm -hmm. and I had to hit it with the hammer. Right, yeah, that, a little, little tiny one. Yeah, that gray nipple got him. All right, so let me just cross over that way. Pull that one off of there. So it comes on. Just tie it up. So at some point, we got to go back in and redo these hoses anyway. Yeah, because they're going to start deteriorating. Because our varnish ball do some damage to rubber, plastic. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what happened with the skyline. We came back from uh, uh, from one of my buddy's car car shows, and I pulled up in the driveway. It was leaking coolant everywhere. Yeah. And my mom's like, "Oh, you got a oil leak?" I said, "Don't tell me that." You know, so I thought I threw a rod. Mm -hmm. But uh, come to find out, it was a tiny coolant hose. It was this big. Yeah. In between uh, yeah, two, two metal pipes, and it was just squirting out oil or coolant. Then it was a two hundred dollar kit just to get that one part. <laughs> but I had to do all the other holes. A one inch piece of holes mm -hmm. and a couple of clamps. And I couldn't I couldn't get it off without taking the whole intake yeah. apart. Yeah, I have to remove a bunch of stuff. Yeah. I think that the tip's too, too big. much call it. Yeah. Make sure they don't link. Well we'll leave this cover off to we Yeah. Uh, probably gonna be sitting back here. See anyway. what is what is going. I might just leave the seat out. Yeah, that's that's the best way. That's good. Yeah. Okay. I was well. I was joking. I put Aaliyah's car seat back here, but uh, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. This probably uh, wouldn't be a, a good daily driver. No, I'm not gonna street drive this thing at all. You know. Take the airbag. Just what you call it? Because uh. uh your uncle be honest, he had a 
falcon and the it was a three on the tree uh -huh. and uh it broke okay and uh you know he used what to made me the realize that the pump wasn't working um i would put the kit in ignition and see if the pump was priming and i didn't hear anything prime so then i realized i said okay well let me go that route and fuel pumps aren't that expensive mm -hmm. all right let's see if she fires up wall where he can um, get it out of the sun every day and we're going to cover it move Maddie you're going to get ran over Side. You're gonna make me blow up this engine that's already bad. <laughs> All right, I'm done being ignorant. <laughs> well, uh, after about two hours of trying to diagnose an electrical issue, um, fuel pump, you know, R and R went easy. You know, just swapping that out. That took about ten minutes at the most. Well, I think we spent more time talking than we did actually working, and uh, we got that that swapped in. But we're still not getting it started. Um, we even unplugged, you know, just the hoses just to see if the fuel pump was working. It's still not working. So there's an electrical issue um, that we got. We got to figure out what's causing it. We checked the grounds. Grounds look good. Check the fuses. The fuse look fine. I swapped it with a new fuse anyway, just to, to for shits and giggles. So I swapped the number 18 fuse with the new one. Uh, still nothing. So um, I don't know if that secondary fuel pump needs to be swapped out too as well. Um, if they work in tandem together, both of them have to be working for the car to run or just one. I don't know. We did the primary today, but, uh, BMW nerds, any BMW techs, mechanics out there watching, shoot me a message or, you know, leave a comment. Let me know. Um, the goal was to have this car running and ready so we can start getting some seat time in, um, in our amateur drift career that hasn't started yet. But, you know, I just wanted to drive the car. And our goal was to have it running by Mother's Day, which is this Sunday. 
Um, we're going to go to a drift event this Sunday and we're just going to go as spectators and, you know, meet and greet and hang out with people and make some connections and friends and uh, go from there. So as always, like, subscribe, appreciate you guys. Head over to Local Outlaws uh, Instagram page and pick up a dad hat, pick up a shirt. Um, every dad hat you purchase, every shirt you purchase helps us continue this project and helps fund this project. So uh, parts aren't cheap. And right now we're throwing parts at it. So, but if you guys want more content, like, subscribe. That helps me out the most. And then go pick up some merch that helps me out as well. Peace.